it is a very interesting media to me because I felt as a game designer, you need to basically learn everything. Like in order to design a level, it involves how you use the space uh, to give player feelings. It's kind of like what architecture is about. Uh, when you design a multiplayer game, you have to look into the psychology or the sociology between people, how people react and what will happen if you, uh, you change their social dynamics. Uh, when you work on single player experience, you look into uh, the positive psychology flow. Every game designer has to be a philosopher. You, know, you, you are defining a system for people to interact and this system usually is inspired by nature and you have to learn how this works in the nature and then put it back into a virtual space. Uh, it felt, it makes me feel empowered a lot of time. You know, sometimes you feel like you're a god because you're creating the, a world, you're defining the law, and then you have people coming to interact with it. Um, it's also, it's powerful, but it's also a lot of responsibility, you know, because you, you are the god. As a game designer, you can use the design to make people want to do certain things. Um, just basically by using uh, psychology and giving feedbacks to reward people s towards certain behavior. So if you want, you can make a game where people feel totally happy stabbing themselves because in a virtual space, every time you stab yourself, you make some sound, the, the music comes in, the graphics looks better, and they'll be totally fine stabbing themselves uh, in the world. Um, but you know that's, that comes to the responsibility as as a creator, as an, a potential artist. What do you want the people, the audience, to 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 see and to hear and to feel?